So it'll be Simona Halep serving to start this quarterfinal. The winner will face That's Panetta. I see Rinka going with the sleeves today instead of the tape around the arms. You know, the, the sleeve she has on, and she had tape on the other, she deve was developing a rash, or a little blister from the, the clothing material that she was wearing, covering it up. So, so it's an interesting choice today because it's literally, it's got to be the hottest day we've had at the US Open today, or, or on par. Yeah. So I'm not sure why you would wear the long sleeve today. I would have cut that off. Yeah, today would have been the day for the, for the tape. made the quarters of the Australian Open earlier this year, now back in another quarterfinal in a major for the first time since. see more than once today both players Thank are you. so good from the back of the court it is so important for Halep to stay on top of the baseline today because I believe other than Serena Williams nobody does it better than Victoria Azarenka as far as staying up on the baseline and taking time away from your opponent Halep cannot drop behind the baseline today a little serve and volley there See, Renee, that Halep was backed up. And Azarenka crushes that forehand for break point. That's right. You see where Halep is in the point, And Azarenka says, no, not today. I'm going to be the one that's going to push the envelope. game to start this match game, it as Halep knocked back on her heels gets broken right away again it is all about court position and Vika Azarenka is consistently always looking to move forward she is a Grand Slam mixed doubles champion she's won medals in the mixed doubles at the last Olympic Games she's a very good and has been a very good doubles player in the past year, it doesn't mind moving forward. And for me, that may be the difference maker in the match today. Just wonder how long we're going to see the sleeves. Well, I'll tell you one thing. She's going to have the craziest the sun yeah. yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> well, the uh, $800,000 she could pick up if she wins this match can get her a good spray tan. <laughs> Both of these two through the years have had to really control their emotions. They're both very uh, demonstrative at times on the court, but what I've seen from both of them, particularly as a rank over the last few years, they control that negative emotion so much better now. For Azarenka, has it been since she had that layoff? you think she's come back a different player in terms of perspective? I, I think when she won the, her first Australian Open, we started to see a different Azarenka. We started seeing an Azarenka that understood her emotions were, 
were hurting her and hurting her results. And over time, she started to see the good results from her better behavior. And since then, really, we've seen only a very good Victoria Azarenka. First point, Halep 15, has 15. dropped here in this receiving game, 15-30. Azarenka's had four wins over top five players this year. Only Belinda Bencic has had more. There's a look at Sasha and her coach, uh, Wim Fassett. So Sasha really pushes her in practice for uh, former Serena Williams. Everybody familiar with tennis knows that story, but he's been an excellent hitting partner and confidant to Azarenka now as well. Great well, point. We're seeing, Sam, what we may see a lot of today, and that's breaks of serve. I talked about how well they both return, but neither of them have big serves. So it won't be a surprise or devastating hmm. for them to lose serve today. It will also be possibly the shortest ball they see is the second serve from each of each other's serves. Both players will be extremely happy when the shade is gone from the middle of the court for two reasons. They'll see the ball better and they'll get a little respite. That shadow's been moving throughout the day. back-to-back -back breaks you're right so one all and a little sigh of relief one there from Halep assistance. Halep uh, seated number two here second time in her career she's been seated number two in her career and uh, here at the US Open as she was seated two last year totally different emotional player though when it comes to dealing with that expectation of being number two seed last year she was not prepared for that moment in my in my opinion this year different player 15 months. staring right up into that sun just indicated that with that double fault. She earned the number two seed after Cincinnati this year, just before the cutoff. Well, and frankly, thank goodness, because she would not have been yeah. the number two seed. Maria Sharapova would have been the number two seed. And then Sharapova pulled out, so Imagine if Halep had been up in Serena's section as a number three seed. A one and one and two get placed, top and bottom. The number threes get drawn out of the hat, number three and four, whether they go top or bottom. So it doesn't really matter if you're three or four, but one and two is a big difference. Yep, that's out. Halep knows where to go. Her anticipation kept her in that point. Azarenka's going to go to the chase review to get confirmation. Think, you think it what? I think she's uh, trying to just bide some time here, but yeah. if she goes to the chase review, she'll definitely be wrong. And so that was pulled into the alley. Distance. Halep wins the point. Azarenka's two challenges. You get three incorrect challenges per set, so Azarenka 
down to two. Big point. Nice. Again, better court position though, Sam. As Darren Cahill, coach now, overlooking the Halep career. And I believe a very good influence over Simona Halep. In a lot of ways, he obviously was around some great champions. And Leighton Hewitt as his coach. And Andre Agassi as his coach. He was also a very good former player. But I think he's instilling the champion mentality with Halep. And that can go a long way in improving a player. So Halep with an ace, hold serve, and after back-to-back -back service breaks, 2-1. Halep and Azarenka off to a good start, good quality stuff here in the first three games of this last remaining quarterfinal here at the U.S. Open on the women's side, and Azarenka testing that sun. It's starting to set now, but it's right in her face. Well, and it's also the shadow. So she's going to just pretend that she's waiting for the people to sit down here because if she waits about another minute, the sun will be away from her eye line. <laughs> Strategic move from players. There we go. Yeah, keep, yeah. keep going, Vika. Just keep... <laughs> I mean, they should be sitting down. She's, she's correct in that, but a uh, little strategic move. Does a rank up at the net? Very competent at the net. Has, uh, decent volleys when she comes in. The technique is uh, pretty good for a two-hander as well on the back end volley. Takes the second hand off. Again, it's going to be so much about court position and who can get inside the baseline quicker. It just feels like this is going to be a great match. For a serve percentage for... Azarenka at 78%. Neither player has a big first serve, so you won't see that drop off too much. Wow. There's so many similarities. With these two, two great movers, two wonderful competitors, but two of the best backhands you'll see in the women's game. Oh, got her. After I just complimented Vika on her backhand volley, this one was not one of her better ones. It just completely sat up, and Halep, no mistakes. Break point again for Halep. Azarenka stays alive. Oh, and P.S., another slimmer similarity between the two of them. They like yeah. to show their emotions sometimes. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that from both of them all. 
all summer. Terrific get there from the Romanian. And again, Azarenka trying to push the envelope was in a good position and that is just very unlucky. It was right there for the volley. Uh, oh, it, oh, worst feeling she was there. ever. Game point Halep to try to break again. inside that baseline. Come on. Wonderful forehand. And there's that emotion. Azarenka got away with a 74 mile an hour second you serve. See, you see how it just telling yourself, move forward, get inside the court, because as soon as position is given away, as a ranker, beautifully taking advantage of it. This match is excellent. game is getting more and more important obviously and I think more along the lines for Halep because she doesn't have a winning record against Azarenka so the head-to-heads are always something I look at I know Halep's a di different player she's a much better player than she was last time they played but this is all new for Halep to try and make a semi-final here at the US Open not so for Azarenka Azarenka just cannot win this deuce point. How do you think both of them match up against Serena, Renee? <laughs> you know, Sam, it's all about Serena. It's all yeah. how she's serving. If she's not serving her best and winning three points on the serve, then they both can match her from the back of the court, particularly Azarenka. But, I mean, they've both had wins against Serena. Yeah. Halep, uh, of course, beating Serena yes. last year at the WTA Finals in Singapore in the round robin, then lost to her in the championship match. Yeah, and she, she could have prevented that from happening by losing to Anna Ivanovic in the round robin matches, uh, but chose to fight and yeah. ended up losing in three sets, and that one set cost her. called out. Well, it was clearly out. I'm not quite sure why the linesman didn't call it. Mariana Alves and uh, Halep calling in. Azarenka is going to go to another chase review. Remember, she lost one earlier, so she'll be down to one if she loses this one. 
Yeah, she's uh, having a bit of a shocker on the challenges today because that one was well long. And chase review shows it's out. Excuse me, wide. Yeah, no, wrong line. So she's down to one challenge and she's facing break point again. Right. Like you said, Sam, it's only 2 1. Yeah. gets the break. And the first outright Holly lead of the set. 3-1. Three so they traded service breaks to start the match. A reminder to go to usopen.org where we're heading toward the final weekend of this major. You can get your last minute US Open merchandise as well as uh, see what's happening all around the grounds tonight. Bob Rinka or Anderson will follow this match. Then tonight I should say Roger Federer will be in action against Gasquet at 7 p.m. That's a change in the schedule. You can read about it at usopen.org. Starting to feel a uh, shift in momentum here at all, or much to do about nothing? You know, hard to say. I mean, Halep is, uh, really looks very dialed in today. And you would think for Azarenka, this is a different opponent that she's faced before in Halep. Shot. I mean, look at Vika Azarenka's face. I mean, that tells the story. A great reaction of just, man, that was too good. Made the mistake possibly of going to the back end of Halep because it's such a better shot. But that was picture perfect. No defense for that. Very good serving from Halep. Game, Halep. And Halep consolidates her break. And moves ahead 4-1 here in the opening set. Halep leads four games to one. Azarenka Halep, it's, you look at the school board and you think 4-1, ooh, what a lopsided match. But this has been fun to watch between these two. And they're benefiting from some uh, cloud cover right now. But, Keeping the sun off this court. It's a hot day around 90 degrees Fahrenheit and humid. Lovely. I can't forget how well how it played coming into the US Open. Second serves one for both players was always going to be an issue. Uh, and we're seeing that both players are, are struggling with that today. But Halep, finals of Toronto, finals of Cincinnati. Her confidence level coming in here was sky high. She's also had a lot of tremendously good wins, whereas Azarenka, not so much. And you just wonder if that in particular is what is coming to the forefront right now.
15 or absolutely vital for either of these players to not get down two breaks of serve because they're both so good at being able to break serve and neither of them have a big serve. Good serve right there. Does the job anyway. Only 103 miles an hour. Really. Hit that spot, though. Well, it's always been an Achilles heel, Sam. With her height, she should have such a better serve. And if she did, she probably would have already had more Grand Slams under her belt. 40 yeah, Zarenka, six feet tall. Is that what the bio says? Yeah. There's no way she's six feet. She's like 5'11". <laughs> well, she grew in the last year or two. It's possible. Yeah, maybe. She's tall. 40-30. And, I mean, Azarenka's only 26. Halep's only 23. I mean, we could be looking at future Grand Slam title battles between these two. And I'd pay for it because both of them are so good from the back of the court. They're both great competitors. Got to think a must-win game for Azarenka. Sasha looking on with concern. You know, we just saw Sasha. Renee, explain the role he has with Azarenka. How does that well, he, work all, with the hitting partner? Well, first of all, he's a great hit. I mean, he hits the ball very, very well. And so former hitting partner of Serena Williams, he's learned so much about the big time matches. And uh, so he would be first and foremost the hitting partner. And then also, I'm sure, gives his two cents as well in certain aspects of, of playing. And Wim Fassett is her quote unquote coach. Good hold for Azarenka. You know, Sam Sumik was uh, Azarenka's coach for a long time. Both of them have gone through coaching changes this year after a long time coaching player relationships. So one of the interesting assets or facets of this match is that Wim Fassett was coaching Simona Halep for a while. So he knows the ins and outs of Halep's game. Well, just through my, and you too, I mean, just through our vantage point as announcers and commentators, we've been able to see firsthand just the the impact that Darren Cahill's had on Halep. What a calming and encouraging effect he's had on her as that ball right off that baseline, setting Halep up for the winner. Oh, 
Nice. Well, that's right. I think the influence of, I mean, when Fassette was with Kim Pleister well, when she won her Australian mm -hmm. Open title, and he's certainly seen great players. Um, but after one season with Halep, she decided, after having a great season, to uh, move on to somebody else. So it's just always interesting, the storylines <laughs> with the coaches yeah. and former players, and we saw it with Lee Na previously with Maria's coach. So good drama. And Halep making Coach Cahill proud today. She has moved out to a 5-2 lead here in the opening set. And she pursues her first U.S. Open semifinal. The Olympic gymnast has been here watching Simona. Tell you what, if I, I can give credit to one country in the world that supports their players more, it is the Romanians. I mean, they are so intensely involved in really? their great champions. Play, they fly from anywhere to see <laughs> Simona play. It's great to see. Guess on the men's side, the last decent player from Romania was Pavel, Andre Pavel. I'm trying to think yeah. of recently. Oh, Horia Takao is having a great yeah. year, a couple of years in doubles. Doubles, yeah. And yeah, it's been a while for, for the singles. Andre Pavel, as you said, probably the last really good one. 15. Azarenka trying to stay in the set. And there's that Romanian fire. Yeah, yeah, they've never been shy, have they? I mean, Ily Nastasi, so many, Arena Sprelea back in my day. Yeah, the infamous right. bumping yeah. situation with Venus <laughs> at the US Open, what, 17 years ago now? Gosh. Halep uh, was mentally exhausted. Took time off after Wimbledon, uh, had some family issues to attend to there. and disconnected from tennis for a little while. Still was training and running, she said, just didn't pick up a racket. And so came back uh, refreshed and ready to work with Darren Cahill. And it's uh, been instant dividends. She got to the final of Cincinnati and Toronto. Two big events in the US Open Series leading into this US Open. Is that you? So this is, for me, a mentally a big game for Azarenka. No matter what happens in this set, and if Halep can serve it out, must stay close in the scoreboard. As you can see, the cloud cover now is starting to drift over Arthur Ashe Arena, Arthur Ashe Stadium. Arena, I thought I was in Australia. <laughs> Rod Laver Arena. <laughs> it's an arena. Almost. And the roof is closed. And it is also Azarenka struggling through this game, trying to hold to stay in the set. A rain expected to be an issue uh, tomorrow and, and possibly this evening. Women's semis are scheduled for tomorrow night. Azarenka does all she can do for now, and now Halep will try to serve this set out. It's just uh, one break separating the two. We've had three total service breaks in this set. With Sam, Simona Halep, is, this is one of the best serving displays we've seen this throughout the tournament. 80% of first serves in, winning 75% of those, and yep. There's uh, Nadia. Perfect 10. Yeah. Married to Bart Connor. Oh, nice shot behind the back. An American gymnast. Simona saying she's been inspired having Nadia there, playing in front of such a great champion. She's used that as motivation. There she is again. It was looking, looking pretty good. Yeah. Stays in shape.
15 or Opening here for Azarenka. Fifteen thirty. Slugfest right now. Well, this is where the extra maturity, Sam, from Halep in these big moments to not rush through the points. When she gets a little peeved at herself, she tends to quickly want to serve. But there is no doubt she is checking herself to not do that right now. serve at a crucial moment as it brings Halep to set point. Her biggest serve, Sam, of the set. She's gotten almost 80% of her first serves in. And that'll do it. Simona Halep wraps up the opening set. In 42 hard fought minutes. guarantee you that Victoria Azarenka isn't going anywhere. She will dig very deep. This is one of the most important matches she's played this year. Quarters of Wimbledon lost to Serena, but this is a big opportunity to maybe re-establish herself, as we talked about, inside the top 10 again, rather than laboring around around 20, where she certainly doesn't belong. And she's had four wins against top five players this year. Only played 12 tournaments. Again, look at the court positioning for Halep inside the baseline or on the baseline. And Azarenka getting caught behind the baseline.
perfect. Yeah, Halep taking a look at it. Isn't it a challenge? Now, there's no coaching on challenging, Renee. No one seems to know what to do with <coughs> the chase review or the challenge system. Well, As rank was down to one after a couple of games in that last set. My rule is challenge when you really know you're right. Not when you're mm, hoping. And that's what we see some players do. Some use it strategically to get a little bit more time. Recover from a point. It's only the second double fall for Azarenka. Well, they got the short straw on the bad um, <laughs> player's box because that's the one end you don't want to be into down anymore because it's right into the sun. Point accurate. Oh, but Sam, if you're going to come in on Halop, you better make it good to the back end because she is so comfortable. As a ranker, that's a good forehand, but when as soon as it hit the tape, she needed to go back. She was kind of in no man's land, and Halop possesses such a good backhand passing shot right here. Should have said, "Okay, I got to go back." And now Halep is going to use the chase review. And that serve was... See, that's just horrendous. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, she's I, mean, she's I hope smile. she's... A, but, I mean, as a pro tennis player, you, that's just ridiculous. from Azarenka. And a good start to the second set for Victoria Azarenka. And you know, Sam, don't get me wrong, because I really like Simona Halep. She is truly one of the nicest young ladies. But that, I mean, that call was inside. Talk about learning how to challenge. I mean... Yeah, it's not just her. I mean, it's it's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it's a Look lot Look at of Roger people. Federer. Federer's terrible at challenging. I mean, you can understand it when the ball hits close to the line, you're not quite sure, but the sidelines are the easiest ones to pick up on because you as a player have the almost the best eyesight to that spot. Yeah. Umpires, they don't have the best spot. The linesmen get blocked sometimes. But look at Azarenka. I mean, she just wants to win this match so badly. perfected the swipe of the racket head just enough where she gets a little bit of anger out without breaking it. And, and, and that, that takes practice. Yeah. Good, good timing, good hand-eye coordination. Didn't have to move. Fifteen. Just controlled things from the middle of the court. That's another ace. Got her guessing again. It's second ace. 107 miles an hour. Her fastest today has been 108. Serving stats fabulous today for Halep. Oh. 
first serve percentage, 79%. I mean, that was just some fabulous hands from Victoria Azarenka. And the key on this volley is to not try and do too much. Just soft hands. Let the ball ricochet off the, off the strings. And things like that can happen. Knocking on the door of a break here. 30, 40. It's only her second break point. Two-love start for Azarenka. Well, and when you look down the other end and you see the de de negative demonstrative behavior from Simona Halep, that gives someone like Victoria Azarenka so much hope in this match. You do not win two Grand Slams back-to-back -back unless you know how to win matches and fight. Azarenka thinking Azarenka about it. Ball, right, <laughs> she can't resist. And the chase review shows. Oh, it was good. Oh, that's a. Uh... <laughs> She kind of shakes her head like, really? How do you miss that serve? <clears throat> There'll be a, a first serve coming here. be an Achilles heel for Azarenka. She has changed the service motion. There's no doubt it's a little more fluid on the take back. She's not abbreviating the backswing on serve. Therefore, more fluid at the start, more fluid at the end. But she still, as we take the one hour mark of this match, she still has that hitch when she goes back and stops. And that to me, I, that right there. You don't like the stop? I do not like the stop. And if you look at the great servers, they don't have that abbreviation where, or, or that hitch where they stop. I mean, if, I, if there was one thing that I could tell Victoria, keep the motion moving, have the fluidity from the start all the way to the end like Serena Williams does. Right there, that's a hitch. And to me, it just slows the racket head down. She doesn't have that... And with her height, it 
as the book says, six foot, she yeah. should really have such a better service motion and serve. Clearly working on it because she's changed that take back, but still some work to do. So as a rank up, dominating right now. It's just one break though. Love three. Simona Halep uh, has yet to win a game here in this set. And that attitude is not good over the last couple of games. 15 points. And the removal of the visor. Yeah. It's amazing how many times, if she's not playing at her best, she, the, the visor, it's off. I was wondering if we'd see Azarenka take the sleeves off. Well, that's been the most negative we've seen Victoria Azarenka today. Even though she lost the first set, she's been very, almost overly positive in this match. sudden a skip in the step for Simone Halep so it's really interesting how these two emotionally have sort of played a little bit of a uh, tag no your turn to be positive I'm going to be a little bit more negative now okay. and the, the way they match up doesn't feel like any lead for either one is really a safe lead. Three games to win, Reminder to go to usopen.org. A lot of doubles taking place today. You can get up to date on all that. Sure, uh, you've been keeping your eye on the doubles, Renee. Yeah, and Sam Query and Johnson through in the men's doubles over there. So, good story for American tennis. Yeah. They took out the Bryan brothers in the first round. Nice draw for the Bryan brothers. <laughs> yeah, but really. They've, they've run with the baton. No uh, major titles for Bob and Mike Bryan this year. Love it. Stevie Johnson went through college. John Anson went through college. We've seen some really... Great stories on the men's side. Uh, Kevin Anderson yeah, is playing see next Kevin on. Yeah, we're going to see Kevin next, yeah, University of Illinois. Yeah, our former coach is Craig Tiley, who's mm -hmm. basically the big boss down at Tennis Australia now. It's out, and as a rank, all of a sudden, wobbling a bit here. It's just incredible to me. In the love last game, she was so positive to get up three love, pumping her fist, telling herself to come on. And it's almost like she had a, a lull period there in the previous game and is now affecting her in this service game. Back in position to try to get even here and break. Oh, 
Oh, that was a rocket forehand. 15 feet. Still break point facing Azarenka. She'll need a couple more rockets. Has broken back. No lead is safe. Azarenka leads three games to two. Second set, first set. Back here. And Arthur Ashe Stadium, Simona Halep was down three love. And is getting closer and closer to evening this match. Back on serve now. 15 love. Very important game here for Azarenka. You see her now trying to get herself fired up and focused on, or refocused in this particular game. Been a lot of emotional ups and downs in this match. And I have to say, Sam, that's the one area that you have to be careful at. You can pump yourself up so much that all of a sudden, if you're not focusing on that, you can have an emotional letdown. And for me, that's what happened at Three Love. It's not to say I don't like positive emotion, but you have to be tempered, tempered with it. Big chance here for Azarenka, 30 all. You saw her just say to herself, fight, Vika. Azarenka as Halep has game point as a result. Second serve was telegraphed. Yes. So one of the things that Halep struggles with is the ball toss tends to go to her, to her right and forward on the second serve, which is unusual, but it also becomes predictable to the forehand of opponents. Double fault, uh, someone uh, making noise in uh, her toss. Advantage. I was not going to get the let. Ladies and gentlemen, please, as a courtesy to most players, try to be quiet in between serves and during the run.
Azarenka breaks back. Halep with only two unforced errors in this set, but she's down a break. Well, that was just an absolutely perfect move from Vika Azarenka in that last point. She saw that Halep was in trouble a long way off the court, and rather than let the ball bounce, she took it on the fly and with courage moved in behind it and a missed passing shot by Halep. when she plays a bad point. No wonder her, th her uh, thighs taped. <laughs> For I, protection. Look how early she took that. A lot of players would let that come to them behind the baseline. And Halep just beautifully takes that on the angle. That's perfect. In the midst of a, another one of those momentum shifts we've been having in this match. It's gone back to Azarenka now. Halep had closed the door from 3 love down to 3 2. drop shot but just didn't quite get well that was as good as you can get to be honest yeah. maybe a little too deep but look at how it just takes her time game point as a rank up 40, 40. Frustrated Simona Halep right now. She keeps losing games in bunches of threes. If she loses another one, sets over. And, you know, both of these two have such great personalities. They show their emotions. We've seen positive, we've seen negative, but overall, these two are refusing to lose. Yeah, I love the, the competitiveness of this match, just the intensity. Azarenka is going back to the chase review. She's on a roll. She won her last one. On that one, though. No. 
And that clip in the back of the line. That's the only one she's lost. We're getting closer and closer to a final set between these two. Again, I mean, how many three setters and yeah. matches have gone the distance on stadium court here in Arthur Ashe this year? First one did today, Panetta upsetting Kvitova. Yeah, good hustle on both ends of the court. 14-13. Some people think, well, maybe you shouldn't run for this ball. Uh, it's no, you no chance, but the anxiety it builds up in opponents, knowing they have to hit a better shot the next time. So planting a seed. Oh. Yes. Game point Halep to stay in the set. Halep has been woeful on second serves in this set. Sam only winning 13%. One of eight. Must get the serve. First serve in. Game she did. And now Halep will try to break to keep this set alive or we're headed to a final set to determine our last semi-finalist. Azarenka gets a, a lot of crowd support here. Williams, Finchy, and Panetta all in the semis. Only one spot remains. The other day against Kerber, she struggled with winning the match after a couple of break point match points and then served out an amazing game to serve the match out. You can see if she can serve this second set out. Making her hit a couple of extra shots. But Sam, the other day, Azarenka against Kerber, again, I bring that match up because it was so similar to this one in needing to hit one more shot, and mm. she came up with some unbelievable volleys, and that was a fabulous volley. It's a fabulous set. Both players with more winners than unforced errors. It's been a high level set. go on a while. Thank you.
Break point. Thirty fifty. Halep is broken. The set goes on, but Halep's got to hold to stay in it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, once again, a reminder to keep quiet during the rally. Thank you very much. Mariana Alves uh, asking the crowd to please be quiet. Both players complaining about the noise. Halep breaking in that last game. Must hold here to stay in the set. to the second serve woes and you see Halep's face tells the story. Another one of those uh, momentum shifts. Oh, that's a bad miss. That's a miss that Victoria Azarenka, when she won the Australian Open, did not make. She was a, a human backboard when she won those Australian Opens. Strong. I mean, you see the flashes of the brilliance that won those two back to back Australian Open titles, and this is one of them. This was an aggressive as a ranker from the get go in this point, and even that shot, that is brilliant. Set point Azarenka. To determine our last semifinalists coming up. But I mean, if they took.
This felt like a hockey game, Renee. We're uh, taking a break after every period. Time. <laughs> yeah, but we get to interview the players uh, in yeah. hockey, don't we? Well, know, that's true. He's a desi designated player, but, um, you know, it's 10 minutes. There was the heat rule that was in effect. The players are allowed to take 10 minutes, but surprisingly, Halep was well and truly back on the court. So, I guess, uh, I mean, as a ranker, was allowed to take the amount of time that she did, given the heat rule that was in effect at Final the start sense. of this match. So, How's that anchor just uh, Strap in, because I have a feeling this one might go down to the wire. Both players winning a set. Here we go. One set to determine who moves to the semis to face Panetta. The first three-set match between them this year. Azarenka only five and five in three-set matches. Halep fourteen and six. Double fault from Azarenka, and right away a Halep with a love 30 lead. Is it tough to come out and have to serve after the 10 minutes? There's no warm up. Yes and no. Yes, because you have had that sort of mental break from the match for 10 minutes, but it's so hot today that certainly the shoulder would, the shoulder would not be a problem. Depends on if she wins or loses 15, this game. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me after the game, okay. Sam. Make me look yeah. really smart. <laughs> Break points right away for Simona Halep. You see uh, clouds up over the opening here in Arthur Ashe Stadium and no rain falling at the moment. There's some off to the west of the city, but we're dry for now. And it should be a different story tomorrow, though. We are expecting some bad weather to move in. Not sure how that will impact the schedule yet. Women's semis as of now, scheduled for tomorrow night. And for everyone 13, sitting 15. around the center court today, the stadium court, or watching this match, if you want to develop a two-handed backhand, you cannot go wrong with either of these players. Just beautifully constructed backhands. and with it, Halep misses the chance to break for now. Hey, and guess what? We've still got a men's match after this. Yeah. The people, the people on Arthur Ashe Stadium are getting their money's worth today. Kevin Anderson, Stan Vavrinka up next.
<laughs> oh, this is one of the best points we've seen all tournament. Both yeah. players so good trying to get position inside the court as Arenka does it better and the sleeve goes up. <laughs> It's just the first game of the set. Yes. It is uh, tough for these two to get any distance. Zarenka has tried to hit this drop shot on a few occasions in this match today and every time that she's done it, Halep has run it down and hit this one cross court. This time Azarenka tried to cover that shot and Halep with the beautiful hands with it down the line. 13th break point of the match for Halep. again. So one thing Halep has not done well is break serve as this game goes on now. Crossing the seven minute mark. Sort of matchups that you get as a commentator or, or a viewer, a ticket holder. You know, when you saw this matchup, you just thought, mm -hmm, this one's going to be good. Yeah. Has not let us down. winner. Well, I don't know, Sam. There's a lot of people around this stadium that have those American Express earpieces on. If mm -hmm. you're enjoying this match, put your hands up because this is a ripper. I mean, this first couple of games in the third set are vital for both players. Game goes on. This will be the 15th point. Yes. Some 
sometimes you almost want a mercy rule in tennis. Okay, let's just this is no make ad. it whoever wins this game wins. <laughs> <laughs> or no ad. Yeah, or no ad. Uh, looking for a call that never came. Mariana Alves has asked for the chase review. And that's why the call never came on the line. Ball stands. That's just one game, and as a rank of held, First game, final six. but it felt so much more dramatic. I see it breezy outside, the clouds building, and no rain falling, though the forecast looks very ominous tomorrow. It's gotten worse and worse. And what are the chances that the U.S. Open has had? The most incredible weather. It's been so hot for the last well, 10 days virtually here at the US Open. And the one year that that roof won't be available might be devastating tomorrow, but you never know. Weather can change as well quickly. Look at that skyline over there to the right. Amazing downtown of Manhattan. Waiting on another uh, chase review here. I remember back in, his, in Australia, uh, yeah. this happened, and Alicia Mollick, our former top 10 player, was looking at herself on the big screen doing what Simone is doing, and then lifted a watch up in the air and started pointing to it. It was one of the <laughs> classic moments. I mean, if, yeah, I mean, if it doesn't come, then they have to play as the call is issued. So the original call would stand. It's coming. She's being told it is working. Just delayed. The needs, it's not, it's coming or not coming. They can't give me a further hit answer yet. I do not understand. The needs. We got drama of all kinds. It was out. It was out. It was out, Marianne. It was out. Let's go. Move on. It's We're going to play the first serve. It's taking a long time. Well, because well, because it took it took a long time. It's it's not it's not it's taking a long time. So it's not really fair. So it's like yeah, it, it, we don't have it. No, it's, we we waited a long time. Long time. We're going to replay the point. Well, I agree with Azarenka here. i got to tell you, Sam, I am fully with Vika Azarenka on this one. The original call has to stand if it doesn't come down quick enough. Yeah. It's not about, well, it's taken too long now. We're going to give her a first serve. I mean, that's not how the rule is written. I'm quite certain of that. So... Hopefully, I mean, obviously it's not that big of a deal, but still. And, and Azarenka does not want to get the crowd 
to not be on her side. Uh, so there's that balance, isn't there, of not peeving the crowd off with the arguing. Does that come into your mind, Renee? I mean, you... oh, absolutely. There, there's no doubt. I mean, you kind of lose your mind a little bit because you're so upset. And she had every right to be upset there, but she has completely turned this around. Love 30. After a marathon hold. One of the few drop shots Halep hasn't been able to run down. What an awesome drop shot. What touch this was. That's behind the service line. Not an easy shot to hit. And Halep trying her absolute best to try and run that down. Break point for Azarenka. She has not failed to convert. You can see there four of four. is fully alive as a rank with the early lead to love. And Sam, if you flip the ledger, Halep is four of 13 in this match. So the difference maker in the numbers without question is Azarenka's ability to win the big points thus far in this match. Absolutely. Oh, good. Azarenka is going to go to the chase review. Let's hope it works this time. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Oh, Mariana Alves is like, please work. Well, I tell you what, Mariana, if it doesn't work, the original call stands quickly. Oh, that is good. Split the line. Love 15. Azarenka has to challenge the win. Forehand as how it fights back. Love 30. Well, the gauging with these two is all about the forehand and the second serve, and sometimes they have come up with some absolutely spectacular forehands down the line today. Halep just trying to hang around. 
I'm off 30 now. She meant that, but it was absolutely continue. perfectly placed. You know, the thing is, though, Sam, that Azarenka's willingness to move forward, for me, is a difference maker, and she absolutely meant that volley. She saw Halep moving and punched it down the line. Her volleys and her willingness to move forward, exceptional. Two hours we've played, and now Halep with a chance to break back. Look at all the chances Halep has had. The difference in that conversion ratio is dramatic. It really is the difference in this match, because their stats are identical. Total winners, 29. Azarenka, 27 total winners. Five unforced errors from Azarenka. I mean, are you kidding me? Excuse me. Wait, no. Sorry, 28 unforced errors. I was looking at the forehand errors. Oh, it's been a long day. <laughs> what have we been it's on? It's all right. <laughs> In the set, they both have way more winners than unforced errors. And the last two sets. The first set was the worst in terms of the level. These last two sets have been such high quality. Another chase review. Oh, just clipping the back of the line, call stands. Good with the so good with the backhand. And Halep has hit considerably more winners on the backhand. Two as a ranker today. Yeah. Still break point here for Halep. Her 16th of the match. She would have pressed the issue. Instead, Halep let it bounce, mm. and the point had to restart again. And to me, I've said it from the, throughout the whole match, Azarenka's willingness to move forward and take balls out of the air are the difference in this match. Can't win that deuce point. Advantage, Halle. That's a horrible stat for Halep. And 
finally Halep is given one too many chances. She breaks back and we are back on serve in this final set. A little bit of everything in this match. Uh, lights coming on now. Yes, uh, still day session, still one more day session match. <laughs> Kevin Anderson, Stan Vavrinka, as far as I know, still scheduled to play here. Roger Federer will play later tonight as well. And they've already uh, flip-flopped the schedule for the evening. Originally, we were going to have a exhibition doubles match. Jim Currier and Marty Fish were going to face uh, Michael Chang and John McEnroe. That'll be after Gasquet Federer. Earlier today, Flavia Panetta upsetting Petra Kvitova. This the last of the women's quarterfinals here at the U.S. Open. The winner moves on to face Panetta in the semis. Is this match going to come down to? I mean, that's the bottom line question. Halep has not been good at converting break points. And that's been. Uh oh. A few raindrops. That's uh, no bueno. <laughs> that's not supposed to come until later. Well, it, the good news is I can still see bright skies off in the distance. That's so true. Well maybe said. just a little bit of a uh, shower. A, a, a sun shower. Passing shower. This is not the kind of thing they, I mean, they may not play, but I don't think they leave the court for this. As they say in, in Paris, il pleut. I know, I, if someone's going to tweet me and say that's horrible French accent, of, it's raining. I have no idea what you say. Oh, okay, well, good. You probably thought I sounded amazing. <laughs> il pleut, il pleut, it's raining. <laughs> what a time to, to start raining, though. I mean, serving Halep, one, two, finally starting to feel like she's got some momentum back. Ladies and gentlemen, we will all play just for a little while to see if this uh, light rain will stop. Thank you. Consulting with uh, his weather staff. And uh, hoping that this is a. Yeah, just scattered little sort of showers. As you, we can see the, the sky, and it's not like there's a big fat rain cloud above us. It's just that pesky no. cloud. And, and I can tell you, when the players are still sitting there, that means that they're fairly confident that it's not going to be a long rain delay. In fact, uh, it's just one cell of rain. Told us we had about 10 more minutes. Sir. We, we, we 
sort of like, this is our cheap way, cheating way of listening to what's going on. He would have liked the game to have finished. Fabulous tennis out here, both women. How many changes of clothes do they have? That's what I want to know. As rank has gone through several changes of clothes. Great. Yeah. And I can tell you, on this surface, when that rain drops just like that, it is very, very dangerous to play. You well, players back out after uh, what turned out to be quite a lengthy rain delay. And here's our match update. And you can see uh, yeah, this Halep's numbers. We were talking about it, Renee. If you looked at the stats of this match, you'd think Halep was killing Azarenka. Yeah, he certainly would. When you look at the winners to unforced errors ratio, uh, Halep just uh, is far and ab above Azarenka. But the biggest difference in this match isn't how many winners, how many unforced errors both players have played, where their service stats are. Those are all very similar in some respects where you couldn't really pick Ladies a winner. You would, as you said, think that Halep was winning this match. It's break point opportunities and that Halep has struggled all day to win the big points. And those are break points. Five of 17 for Halep, five of five for Victoria Azarenka. Yeah, it's been the big uh, key stat in this match so far. We are in the third set, just to remind you, uh, Simona Halep serving up 40-15 at 1-2. Azarenka taking a couple of extra swings. Oh, this is uh, an extremely, extremely tough circumstance uh, for both players. Obviously, Halep had a little bit of momentum after being down to love. Came back, won that previous game that was could have gone either way. And now, with the scoreline at 40-15 for Halep, you would think that the momentum again would have been on her side. But if she can get the point here, Halep, in the game, back no. to all square. No, they were able to meet with their coaches, obviously, on this break and discuss some strategy and calm some nerves and anxieties. And sadly for the players, in the most important moment, a lot of the crowd would have... Uh, dispersed out of here just because of the lateness of the hour. Ready? Also, I've uh, been moving some matches around as well. So Halep serving up 40-15 at 1-2 in the third. And an ace, one swing, and it's two all. That's a perfect start for Simona Halep. <laughs> I'll tell you what, wow, that was impressive. Okay, Simona, here's what I want you to do. Step up to the line, hit an ace on the first serve. I don't think Darren Cahill could have scripted that any better. There's people just moving around the outside part of the concourse area. Well, there, there was so much intensity in this match before the rain came. What a competitive match it's been. You just feel the desire from both these players. Start of today, the thing that I feel is the distinguishing factor with Azarenka and Halep is 
Azarenka's willingness to move forward on balls like this and take them out of the air and not allow Halep to run down another shot, which he does so beautifully. restart the point and Azarenka says fine you don't want the net I'll take it right here she just said I'm going to come forward now and Halep then was in a put it put in a defensive spot and a f awesome volley from Azarenka cost her the point though because she would have been there to get that shot First uh, mistake by Azarenka in this service game. 40-15. She's gone through another wardrobe change, Renee. I know. Changed the whole <laughs> color scheme this time. And I gotta tell you, I mean, I don't know how Vika is as far as superstitions are concerned, but to play your first match in a different outfit. So Azarenka holds pretty comfortably. And we remain on serve here in this final set after the rain has finally left. Simona Halep serving a 2-3. So she's uh, served two balls and they've both been winners. One was an ace, one was just a service winner. Catching the outside edge of the line. Well, I did say, Sam, at the start of this set that I felt that this would go the distance, and I, this this match has tiebreak written all I over agree. it. And Absolutely. It would be, certainly would be a fitting way to finish this match. Well, the Azarenka Kerber match to me was yeah. the best so far, but we're we're getting close to this becoming the best match of the women's tournament. That's quality. Whoa. That, that's an excellent adjustment from Azarenki. You would have to think that Wim Fassett and Sasha Bajan would have said, listen, when it comes to the crunch, you have to look and be aggressive with the forehand on the second serve. That's where the serves will go. Step back and down the line so well. She holds it until the last second and then it just slingshots off of her racket strings. Watch this, just great shoulder turn and then boom, down the line. Game point Halep, 77% of her first serves have gone in in this match. There's another one and another game comes with it, 3-0. Three games on the finals. The serving has been big 15. since they came out. Oh, well, they've had a bit of a break, so the legs have gotten a bit of rest. Crowd get to keep the ball now when it comes goes into the crowd. A great idea from 
UST8. Zarenka doing a good job staying in front of Halep. Well, I think that both players can sense how well each other are serving. So any lapse of concentration on their own service games could spell disaster. I'm impressed at how sharp they've been since they came out. There's been no working their way back into this set. Feels like they never left. on that second serve, Halep takes advantage. You see Darren Cahill just pumping his fist. Senses, this could be the moment. Again, it's Azarenka winning those long marathon rallies. Well, and really a very cerebral point there from Azarenka, sensing that the, it was a, a bit bludgeoning and decided yeah. to throw the high ball up and then stepped in to hit the angle. That is a brilliant play from Azarenka. 21-shot rally, and it's game point Azarenka. steps into this forehand and goes for the shot that when she's playing well is so good. Look at that response. Love the intensity in this match. Mistake, big mistake, since we've resumed this match. And it is Azarenka's third double fault this set, and six for the match. And it gives Halep, more importantly, another break point, her 18th of the match. Fails to break. The, the break point conversion rate, Renee, is that anything Darren could have helped her with? Oh, I'm sure that he spoke to her about it, but it, it, it's a little mental now. I got to tell you, when, when it keeps happening over and over, in your brain you keep saying, am I going to do it this time? I mean, as a ranker gets a break point, says, this is it.
She's gonna have another one. I just love that they're both showing their emotions on their sleeve. They want this so badly, both. It's real, it's positive intensity. You know, there's no negativity in this. It's just pure desire. There is the break. Will it be the difference in this match? Halep leads 4-3 in the third. Here in her first quarterfinal at the U.S. Open. Attempting to oust a woman who's been to the final here twice. Yeah, she backed off. No chase review and um, Mariana game. Alves allowing her to take it away. I've seen that go the other way where the umpire has not allowed him to take it away. I think I, I said it a, a little earlier uh, in the second set, if I remember correctly, and saying that Azarenka wasn't going anywhere. And trust me, she's not going anywhere right now. Fifteen thirty. Up, upset with herself missing that one and it's 30 all huge point here Azarenka desperately trying to get this break back and Halep avoids the break point when Halep is, when both players let the racket head go on the forehand, it, they hit it so much better. Halep's last forehand was really well struck. Look, you cannot leave it short. 69 miles an hour. Azarenka eating that for dinner sends it right back. Well, that serve got what it deserved. That was <laughs> well 69 miles an hour. Not good. That makes up for it. That was 112 miles an hour, first serve. She almost doubled her <laughs> speed serve there. From that last second serve to that first serve. Well, that was Darren Kale, her coach. His nickname is Killer. Boy, does he want to kill a serve here. 
She had it right out of the gate. Oh. No. Game Callum hangs on. And she's a game away. Callum leads five games to three. It's a very familiar chant for those of you uh, who watched the Rogers Cup in Canada this summer, a huge Romanian contingent living in the Toronto area supporting her, and they Guess would what? chant that Simona. They've driven down here. I think that's what's happened. It's the same chant. All of a sudden, Azarenka not looking so positive. back-to-back -back unforced errors. Very uncharacteristic of Azarenka in these moments. And another one. Love 30. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> there I am. Seems like no one's been able to protect a lead in this match. The other always threatening. And Halep has given up the Love 30 lead. Halep getting very passive. Behind the baseline, waiting for the error. Admittedly, Azarenka's given her a few on some big points just in the last game and a half. But you feel that Azarenka's not going to do it now. Beautiful backhand down the line. An excellent serve from Azarenka. So Halep will serve for the semifinals after the changeover. Almost a, a Fed Cup-like atmosphere in here. Feels like we're in Romania as these fans trying to push Halep across the finish line. Serve serving percentage for Halep in this set, This is cliche, but she, she's going to have to earn this. Azarenka is such a competitor, Renee, that even in the face of defeat, she's fighting and playing as if she were leading. And 
Halep makes the mistake on her best shot, the backhand. 15, 15. Little opening for Azarenka. Wow. Thank you. I mean, wow. Just two unforced errors in this game. From each. And it's 30 all. Forehand will bring Halep to her first match point. Forty thirty. Simona Halep is in the semis of the U.S. Open for the first time in her career as the number two seed moves on to face Panetta. Well, I got to tell you the respect that they have for each other, but Simona Halep, I mean, that is one of the most excited reactions I've ever heard from her. And Vika Azarenka, be proud because you gave everything you could today.